Hello everyone, nice to see you back on Exotic Astrology and the other day somebody asked me a question. I was amazed to see this question and something similar I also had in my mind and I had asked to my gurus long back and I got a beautiful answer. So today I will share the question and the answer also. So somebody had asked me recently that oh there are nine planets, there are devatas, there are Ad pratyadi devatas. There are Vishnu avatars, there's this, there's that, my god, there are so many demigods, there are so many mantras, there are so many pujas, yantras, mudras, tantras. <laughs> so everybody has some affliction somewhere, everybody has an afflicted Venus somewhere or an afflicted seventh house, afflicted sun, afflicted moon, so many afflictions or you have planets in those thanas, or it's in debility. <laughs> So there's always so many problems in the horoscope. We know that. As in Hindi, they say, "Am Admi ka chart." <laughs> it means every human being whose chart you will see, you will see tons of problems there. So the question is, is there some remedy for all the problems? One short remedy. Is it? Is there some remedy that you just do this one thing and then everything falls in place? So today we will discuss about that. All right. So if you are new to the channel and if you have yet not subscribed, then please subscribe. And if you want a consultation, then please approach me through my website. The link is there in the description below. And before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And today he is the one who will come here to tell all the remedies. So recently I had also made a video on mother of all remedies. In there, I spoke something about Kanchipuram. So that video is there in the description. If you want to see that, you can go and watch that also. And today's video is named as Father of All Remedies. So now, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a question which has been asked by Parikshit Maharaj to the great Sukhdev Goswami. Who is Sukhdev Goswami? Sukhdev Goswami is the one who is speaking the entire Srimad Bhagavatam. And Parikshit Maharaj is the one who is listening along with all the other sages. And Sukhdev Goswami is the son of Veda Vyas who had written down all the scriptures in books for people like you and me to read and understand and remember in Kali Yuga. As the divine texts were never written in hand, they were only passed in the parampara through oral tradition. Some the guru would speak and the disciple would listen. But Vyas Dev as is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam that Manda Sumanda Matayo which means Kali Yuga people are less intelligent and their memory is very less and they are very short lived Manda Sumanda Matayo that is why Vyasdev wrote down the scriptures in books and his son is Sukhdev Goswami and he is speaking the Srimad Bhagavatam so when Parikshit Maharaj Parikshit Maharaj who is he he is the grandson of Arjuna he is the son of Abhimanyu and he asked to Sukhdev Goswami that Kale Doshanidhe Rajan. He asks him a question that what's the solution to all problems? And then Sukhdev Goswami replies in the shloka Kale Doshanidhe Rajan Asti Hie Khan Mahat Gunan Kirtana Deva Krishnasya Mukta Sangha Param Rajet. So in that shloka, Sukhdev Goswami says to Parikshit Maharaj, Kaler Dosha Nidhe Rajan. Kali Yuga is ocean of falls. Kaler Dosha Nidhe Rajan. Nidhe means many, many, many. Asti hi ekan Mahat Gunan. But there is one great quality. Mahat Gun is there. And what is that? Kirtana Deva Krishna Sya. By chanting the holy names of Krishna. Mukta Sangha Param Brajet one will be delivered from all these sinful reactions and even lord krishna says this in the bhagavad gita so do you know where he says this yes 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 sarva dharman parityajya mame kam sharanam raja aham tvam sarva pape bhyo moksha ishyami ma sucha this is the entire conclusion of the bhagavad gita this is the this is the crest jewel of all the verses of the gita if somebody asks me I don't want to read the Gita. I don't know the, know the Gita. Just tell me one verse. That is this verse. It's there in the 17th chapter. So, 
in that chapter lord krishna says sarva dharma paritya mam ekam sharanam ja abandon all varieties of religion and surrender unto me aham tvam sarva pape bhyo i will deliver deliver you of all sinful reactions moksha shami and i will give you moksha deliver liberation salvation ma suchaha do not fear that is what krishna is telling and similarly there are many 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 verses in the scriptures which emphasizes the power of the name of lord vishnu we have the vishnu sahasra naam shuklam baladharam vishtum shashi varnam chatur bhujam prasanna varanam dhyayet sarva vigno pashantayet i can go on and on like this so in that there is one verse whoever knows the vishnu sahasra naam sahasra naam means thousand names of vishnu so in that there is one verse which comes not once not twice it comes three times which is that verse if you know then pause this video and write it down in the comments let me see how many of you know that verse especially if you are from south india most likely you will know it because wherever you go in south india in the divya deshams always keep hearing yes 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 vyasam vasishta navtaram chakte potram kalmasham no no this is not that verse the verse is श्री राम राम रामेति रमे राम मनोरमे सहस्रनाम तत्तुल्यम राम नाम वराणने व्हाट हैपेंस इज लॉर्ड शिवा इज मेडिटेटिंग एंड देन हिज मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल एंड बिलवर्ड एंड लवली वाइफ पार्वती देवी आस्क्स हिम ओ माय डियर हस्बैंड हु आर यू मेडिटेटिंग अपॉन द एंटायर द एंटायर यूनिवर्स इज चैंटिंग द नेम ओम नमः शिवाय who are you meditating upon i always see that you are absorbed and you are lost in trance have you seen lord shiva's photo lord ram's photo you will see he is fighting kodanda ram he is with a bow and he is with a arrow krishna's photo you will see he is playing a flute but lord shiva have you seen always meditating always in trance lost completely so then his wife asks who are you meditating upon what what what's so enchanting about your focus and then lord shiva says this shri ram 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 eti rame rame mano rame sahasra nama tatulyam rama nama varanam it means that oh my dear rama devi oh beautiful one shri ram 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 eti i am meditating upon the name of lord ram rame rame mano rame it's manoram manoram means one which captivates your mind one which is very beautiful <laughs> so he is telling the name of lord ram is most beautiful sahasra nama tatulyam thousand names of vishnu is equal to one name of ram ram nama varana that's it nothing else <laughs> and there are also quotes in the scriptures which say that three names of ram equals one name of krishna anyways either ways so the answer to the question is very simple <coughs> we can do all the yagyas pujas yantras tantras mudras havans so many things are there daan tap fasting donation abstinence prayaschit so many things are there we need to do all of them but the most important remedy the most important the the end of it all is whatever you are doing wherever you are doing whenever you are doing pertaining to whichever area it is it doesn't matter it is an affliction to saturn or venus or rahu ketu surya mangal buddha shukra shani go <laughs> doesn't matter the most important thing is we need to keep chanting the name of lord ram or lord krishna whoever you identify more with people with sun in the first ninth or tenth will identify more with lord ram and people with moon in 5th 4th or 11th will identify more with krishna well it depends on the whole chart of course but whoever among these two you identify with more you need to take his name or if you have no specific identification you can just take the name of ram shri ram jay ram jay jay ram this is one mantra you can chant for lord krishna you can chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya not om namo bhagavate vasudevaya vasudev is his father and vasudev is double a which is son of vasudev so om namo bhagavate vasudevaya this is one mantra you can chant this is universal 
श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम दिस इज वन मंत्र ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय दीज आर मंत्र दीज आर यूनिवर्सल मंत्र एंड देर आर सो मेनी मंत्र पर्टेनिंग टू लॉर्ड विष्णु सो दीज दीज मंत्र हैव स्पेसिफिक रेफरेंसेस टू लॉर्ड विष्णु यू कैन ऑलवेज कीप चैंटिंग दैम एंड देर आर ऑल्सो कोर्ट्स इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स वेयर लॉर्ड विष्णु सेस I do not reside in Vaikuntha. <laughs> of course, he resides there, but he says I do not reside in Vaikuntha. I do not reside anywhere. I only reside in those places where my devotees are chanting and uh, discussing about my glories. So, in essence, Lord Vishnu practically manifests in those places where the pastimes. which are known as the leelas where people are discussing about his past times where where does where do we find them we find them in the satsang programs in the spiritual circle nearby yes in our city there can be a center where there's a ram katha going on where there's a bhagwat sapta going on where there is a krishna katha going on so go there and sit and listen that is it that's the end of it all that's the ultimate remedy the ultimate remedy is somehow or the uh, somehow somehow by hook or by crook as they say na uh, what was that shloka which says ya ye na ke na prakare na mana krishna nivesha it says that by hook or by crook ye na ke na prakare na in hindi kisi bhi prakar se mana krishna nivesha focus your mind on krishna yes that's what is the aim so now how do you focus your mind on ram or krishna you cannot just artificially say oh i will keep a wallpaper of lord ram i will keep a wallpaper of lord krishna well that works but to be very honest it doesn't work that much which means that you can keep the wallpaper of krishna or ram that's fantastic i also have that in my laptop and in my mobile but that is not sufficient see how does a boy and a girl fall in love with each other <laughs> let's understand with this example right how does it happen it doesn't happen overnight yes sometimes they say that it happens overnight but generally doesn't true love i am saying how it happens you meet one another you talk yes you discuss you see each other you like each other's uh physical appearance then you like each other's mind then you like each other's lifestyle and then that's it you like each other you fall in love so similarly the same thing we need to do with god if we need to focus our mind on krishna or ram or any vishnu form then we need to connect with them at an emotional level that is why jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer which is the sign of heart which means we have to develop a heart to heart connection with god like jupiter gets debilitated in capricorn why because capricorn is a heartless sign which means that the planet mars which is the planet of action gets exalted there now heartless does not mean it doesn't have emotions i am not saying that because now somebody will say oh i have this planet in capricorn i am not heartless i am not saying uh, on a mundane level it is heartless but it capricorn basically is the sign where we just do things because it is supposed to be done it shows the barren land but spirituality doesn't work like that if we are just going to the temple because our father is telling because our grandfather is telling no no it's not going to work we need to go there not only go there externally because our father is telling or our grandfather is telling or our mother is pushing but we also need to put our heart and soul into it otherwise it doesn't happen take the uh, take the example of the mother the sign of cancer represents the mother right so have you seen a mother who is taking care of her child newborn baby child she is totally absorbed she is totally consumed by that there is there is nothing in the head of the mother apart from the child have you seen i have seen at least <laughs> it's like all the time anything she is doing or she is sitting she is walking she is only thinking of the baby so that is how our spiritual practice has to be 
so whenever we are going to any holy place it is very important that we just don't go there and take selfies of course we can take them and upload in facebook we will anyways do it there's no harm in that better to go to a holy place and take a selfie rather than going to some useless rubbish place of this world where there's mundane music or mundane gossip going on but when we go there we need to make sure that we associate with the holy people who are staying there from generations and not only just associate physically that we go and touch their feet and say oh please give me blessings na ashirwad dijiye this ash- ashirwad thing will only work if you go and sincerely ask them the uh, mahatmya of that place mahatmya means the greatness of that place which means suppose you go to ayodhya there you go and ask the sages there the rishis the the saints whoever is living there from so many centuries generations please tell me about ayodhya yes when you go to vrindavan there are so many places keshi ghat this ghat that ghat my god so many temples go and encounter uh, enquire there yes banke bihari temple is there have you gone to banke bihari temple if you have gone then write in the comments and write about this special feature of the banke bihari temple which is there in the holy land of vrindavan what what happens very frequently there <laughs> please write it down of course i have gone to vrindavan when i was a child i barely have any remembrance i will go very soon krishna willing but what i am saying is when you go to places holy places like tirupati just don't go there go there and catch somebody yes catch a pandit and ask him sir please tell me about this place tirumala hills have you gone to the garden which anantacharya the great disciple of ramanujacharya had built do you know about the story of balaji who came who who, who is vishnu who came as a very small boy and what happened when anantacharya's wife was pregnant do you know of that story if you know then write it in the comments and if you don't know and you want me to make any other uh, another video on that then also please let me know in the comments so do you know what happened in in uh, pandarpur why bithal is standing like this yes bithal is vishnu himself he is krishna and rukmini basically bithal 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 <laughs> people from maharashtra will come and now yes 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 i have gone to pandarpur i mean i have not gone but they will come and maybe so when you go to different holy places you see so many holy places in india go and sit and learn about that place try to try to be a part of that just don't go there and oh, okay you know it's a nice place yes we can take selfies oh i wrote that i read somewhere if you come to this holy place you will get a lot of punya Th- those things are fine but that's not the ultimate goal the ultimate goal of all the rules regulations and the scriptures and all the holy places the ultimate goal is that we develop attraction for god and when that happens have you seen a boy who is obsessed with a girl he will always keep telling to his friends suppose he has a girlfriend whose name is sheetal he will always keep saying right in the initial days oh sheetal did this sheetal sheetal did that sheetal ne ye kiya sheetal ne wo kiya sheetal likes this sheetal likes that yes have you seen <laughs> so similarly when we are obsessed with god then also we then only then we will like to hear about him otherwise nobody will like to hear what lord ram did you see nobody will like to hear what lord krishna did so the ultimate aim as i said the ultimate remedy is to develop attraction for god and how that happens very simple read the scriptures read about the life story of lord ram about krishna about varadev about vamandev about all the avatars of vishnu fantastic one one stories we all know those stories but we have to read it again and again and again read the scriptures like the gita the shrimad bhagavatam so many puranas are there so many vedas are there so many upanishads are there so many things are there my god <laughs> and then when we go to the holy places associate with the divine people there and enquire about the holy place and when we are in our cities or in our towns or in our villages in the normal life then every we can try to go and join some spiritual program which is going on in your center in in your city in some circle nearby if you pray to god he will help you to find the circle 
okay so this is the ultimate remedy that you develop attraction for god and then all the problems in the horoscope will subside horoscope means ourselves right there is no paper there is nothing called as a chart it's all we actually why it happens is because then even if the problems are there they will not affect us they will be there externally but we will not feel it because they say now that pain will come but suffering is optional should i repeat pain is inevitable suffering is optional so just because you are having pain it's not necessary that you suffer and sometimes even if you don't have pain then you can suffer when you are too much attached so the attachment goes down the hankering goes down lamentation goes down as lord krishna says in the gita again i am saying yes brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labhate param and you can also read so many bhajans are there you can sing them you can sing the brahma samhita venum konantam ravinda dalaya taksham barahavatam samasitam buda sundarangam govindam adi purusham tamaham bajami yasya sada sakale indri avritti manti lakshmi sahastra sat samrama <laughs> i can go on and on but somebody will type in the comments oh you are making very long videos <laughs> so i'll keep this video short okay I have to start Brahma Samhita, man. <laughs> It is too much, actually, sometimes. <laughs> all right. So the ultimate remedy to all problems is chant the name of Ram, develop attraction for Lord Ram, for Krishna, read the holy scriptures, associate with the holy saints. By that, your attachment will come down. And then, even if Venus is not very good in your chart, <laughs> you're having breakups, you are having divorces. It will still be fine. Otherwise, even if you have an exalted Venus in Revati Nakshatra in 28 degrees of Pisces, even still you will not be happy. All right. So that is it from my side. Develop your spiritual quotient, SQ, as they say. Improve your life, improve yourself, and by that, all the planets, whatever. afflictions you have whichever houses they are placed they will improve and i have made videos on solutions to planets in the 6th house 8th house and the 12th house please watch them if you have not watched okay and there you go before i end god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and you must chant his name okay so whenever you are going somewhere you are going here you are going there as they say in the scriptures गृह है थाको वन है थाको सदा हरि बोले थाको वेर एवर यू आर यू आर इन दी होम और यू आर इन दी फॉरेस्ट कीप चैंटिंग द नेम ऑफ हरि वेर एवर यू सी सम यू से हरि लाइक दैट यू से ऑल राइट ऑफकोर्स यू डोंट डू दैट विद योर बॉस अदरवाइज ही मे फायर यू बट इफ यू गो टू एनी होली प्लेस डोंट कॉल देम ओ मनोज सुरेश दिनेश रूपेश नो जस्ट से हरि हरि whenever you see some lady you say hari <laughs> <laughs> the lady would be wondering man my name is not hari my, i am a lady man but still you say hari hari <laughs> okay so there was a boy in my uh, first year engineering he, he always used to say i mean when i used to attend spiritual programs in my btech days then he w- he would say i will not chant the name of god he would say that, oh i will not chant the name of hari and i would say i did not hear what did you say he would say i will not chant the name of hari and then i would again say i still didn't hear please tell me again then he would again say i will not chant the name of hari and he chanted so many times <laughs> all right so ye na ke na prakar re na mana krishna nivesh hai by hook or by crook fix the mind on krishna somehow you do it you keep his photo you read books you meet people and go and ask them whatever you do go to vrindavan stay there go to bange bihari temple go to radha govind temple do something but do it <laughs> all right i'm tired man it's night okay until next time wish you good luck with the remedies okay bye bye see you tata